guys out here in Appalachia beautiful Sunday morning um, turn track was like dry and dusty yesterday we got just enough rain last night it got pretty good this morning letting Weston get some laps in uh, but I wanted to talk about Hangtown yesterday and just kind of give some thoughts on that good job dude go 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 <laughs> nice let's start off with the 250 class it's by far the most exciting class uh, to watch this year. It's got the most guys that are close to each other in speed, and that makes it fun. Uh, I love when they line up and you don't know who's going to win. And, and there might be a guy that wins one moto, and he's not even in the top five in the next moto. And that kind of stuff you don't see in the 450 class as much. Um, Hunter Lawrence's, I mean, Hunter Lawrence has bounced back two weeks in a row in the second moto, and that's pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, the big news is Deegan got his first win. I found that super impressive. Good job, buddy. Nice. But other than that, it was more of the same. You know, Justin Cooper's always got those flashes of speed. Um, you know, Hampshire, Shimoda, they all kind of do the same thing they've been doing uh, for the last few years, but I'm definitely enjoying watching that class so far this year more than the 450s. I think Tom Vial had a very notable ride too. Before I talk about 450s though, how about Hangtown guys? And maybe it's just because I'm not from California, uh, but whenever I watch Hangtown and, and Paula, like I just watch it. And even from the TV, I'm like, man, it looks like garbage. Like I know they try, but the dirt, you can just tell the dirt is no good. It's just dry, and maybe they they rip it enough and they get it decent in the beginning, but you just can't you can't keep that good all day. And towards the end of the day, like it got so hard pack, and then they tried to water it, and it made it so sketchy. Um, I, I just don't know. I'm just not a fan of the West Coast outdoor tracks, except for maybe like Washougal or something. Um, it's just so much different than that East Coast dirt. 450 class though uh man i'm i think web is doing really well guys i had so many people commenting on my videos saying web will be lucky to be a seventh to eighth guy well yeah maybe that's the case if everybody's healthy and there's no world supercross and all that but um you know web web had no plans to even ride outdoors and you know he got second yesterday right like he's uh he not that far off the pace. He wasn't as far off the pace this week as he was last week, and I think we're going to see him getting better. Uh, AP, man, that speed AP has got is amazing. He just needs to stop throwing it away. Um, I, I really, when he got that down to like three seconds between him and Jet, I thought that like, oh gosh, we could see somebody finally reel in Jet, or at least you know, at least keep him honest like Chase did last weekend. But uh. Just didn't happen. He threw it away. And Cooper Webb said that, you know, he decided to race outdoors this year because he wanted to feel what it was like to struggle again. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, that's definitely what outdoors is. It's hot. It's a struggle. There are long days, long weekends. And he wasn't, I don't think he was really prepped for this. Um, but let me tell you, he earned that spot yesterday because there's no more struggle than... A, you know, a 30, 35 minute outdoor moto in 90 degree heat when you've got a guy right on your tail the whole time. Ferrandis hounded him pretty much that entire race. And when you're right in front, like, he knew that Ferrandis might be a little bit faster than him. And that's like the worst feeling ever when you're out there. Like, and you're like, you're not really blocking a guy, but he can't really get around you. But you're just close enough to his speed to where you are kind of blocking him. And when you're doing that, all it makes for such a long race. It makes for such a long race, and it's so easily to make him. It's so easy to make a mistake. Good job, buddy. It's so easy to make a mistake and mentally break. And he didn't. And uh, I don't know. That's awesome. I, I never was a big Cooper Webb fan, especially in his 250 days. And he's turning me into one. He really is. Uh, so props to him. And then Jet Lawrence. Uh, holy cow, guys. Uh, he's just on a different level than everybody else. He's on, I think, probably that Tomac, Sexton uh, level. You know, Tomac, Sexton, Hurlings, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, but man, AP put the when AP put the pedal to the metal and was was catching him a little bit, and then he got the sign from his pit board and he turned it up again. I, I just I would I want somebody to push this guy just to know uh, what you know how deep can he dig? What's he have in him? And yes, he's on another level. The dude's amazing. Do I think there's any chance he's going to go undefeated, win all the motos? No, I really don't. Um, and it's nothing against him. I just think he's young, and there's way too many variables in this sport that have nothing to do with your performance and everything to do with lappers and starts and 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 track prep and and bike failure and and all that stuff. Um, no, I don't think he's going to go undefeated. Um, and it's way too early to even talk about that, but. Uh, I just I don't have as much interest in these early Cali, Cali rounds. They don't really uh, get me that engaged. But we're headed to Thunder Valley next week, and then we start the iconic tracks uh, that are kind of my tracks. You know, High Point, Red Bud, then they go to Southwick. Um, so all the, all the nostalgia and stuff for me. So can't wait for that, and we'll see what happens. See you in the next one.